Hi all. It's Maureen here at Stitchy Mac. It is Sunday the 25th of February. Um, so I thought I would just drop by and catch up to date with what I've been doing um, since we last spoke. Now my last video, as far as I can remember, are all to do with the whip parades. Um, so this is just a general update blabbing session. Um, so I will start with, I'm going to go back to January. Um, so they were in the middle of January. Now, I believe at that time I hadn't been on the Scottish stitching retreat. That was the last weekend in January. So I'll start with a little bit about that. Oh, actually, I'm just going to pause for two seconds because I've just realized there are a couple of things. Hi. Right, sorry, I just picked a couple of things up there. Um, yeah, so the Scottish stitching retreat, um, that was the last weekend in January. Um, and it was fab, absolutely fab, fab. Big up to Stitching Donna, Donna Murray. Um, hi Donna, was great to meet you in person. Um, who organised all, she did a fab job, absolutely fab job. Um, hotel was lovely, really nice, big hotel. Um, and all in all, it was just a really good weekend. I was like, I went there on the Friday night. Um, we weren't stitching on the Friday, we didn't have access to stitching on Friday, which was quite nice actually because um, I got there in the afternoon um, and various other people kind of started to arrive, Had so a couple of people were there before, a few folk came after, so it was really nice just to actually sit and chat and catch up and uh, meet everyone. Um, and then we had dinner on the Friday night, um, possibly the longest dinner I've ever had, it was like three hours, they, they were a bit slow, but we were so busy chatting, didn't really notice. And then on the Saturday we had access to stitching room, and I think as as other people mentioned in other videos, you know, it was a really good setup. So it was about thirty four of us, I think, all together, and it was just all in our we were all facing each other, so it was really good. Um, I managed to get around. I think and I spoke to everyone and saw what everybody was stitching on, uh, which is always a fun bit because see seeing the stuff in real life so much. Um, better than just seeing it on videos or pictures of that so that was a really good setup um like i said i felt like i got to speak to everyone and rather than just where i've been to previous where you end up speaking to a kind of small select and there's a selection of people there and there can be people you've maybe not even spoken to all weekend so that was really good um it far too much um and i even had cake i had birthday cake thank you very much it was my birthday on the saturday no i didn't mention that at all <laughs> um so i had birthday cake um that was really sweet that was really touched by that um and we had a raffle and i managed to pick up in the raffle i got one of these the delightful shell butler the wee stitch back which is scottish stitching stitching treat gloves as well um, and what else did I pick up? Um, that was about it. Um, I was quite restrained. I'm doing stitch moustache. I have been pretty much perfect on that. Um, I picked up, apart from I bought two needle minders. These were from, because these were just so super gorgeous. These are from Needle Keep Emporium. Um, there is a Facebook group and they are on Etsy, Needle Keep Emporium. Um, so I got this one and I got another piece. One that is a fan. I'll show you that later because it's attached to something. It's just so gorgeous. But I thought I'd keep this in the little box to show you. It comes with this. £2.50. Handmade with love. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I picked a couple of these up. So that was all I bought. But I did sell a couple of things, so therefore it cancels it out. Uh, and this is this is Catherine, Catherine Reed, Katie, and we both had a weird. Hi, Catherine, if you're watching. We both had a weird day, Jack, and a very moment. She was like, "Oh, I know your face is for me." I'm like, "Oh, have you been in one of the treats before? Have I made me?" No. Okay. And then so somebody thought maybe she'd seen me on from Foss Tube, and I was like, "Yeah, that's maybe." But that doesn't explain why I know her. Her face. So, 
oh, we spent, because she was like, oh, I think I know you. And I was like, yeah, I think I know you. I saw your picture on the Facebook group. And I was like, oh, I think I've met her before. Apparently not. Apparently we have not met each other. Or we cannot find the connection as to why we knew each other. It was the weirdest thing. But anyway, hi, Catherine. Um, that was good. So who else was there? So there was Donna, there was Teresa Little Stitcher, there was Crafty Lisa. Um, she was sat next to me. I had Ali. Uh, hi, Ali. Hi, Lisa Simmons. Hi, Lisa. Um, Christy. Christy with a K, who had come from Seattle. Hi, Christy. If you watch. Um, which I think is fabulous that she came from Seattle. Um... I did think of you this morning, Christy. I ran past Burns Cottage. I'll always remember you. We were Burns Night. Um, I'm trying to just mentally work my way around the table. Ali, Mark, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. Michelle Gunn. Oh, just lots and lots of people. Alison Wells. Who, Alison Wells. and Yeah, so Alison came with Ali. And then Lisa came out. They came out from Bradford. Um, New Yorkshire. Angie. Hi Angie. Um, I hope I haven't missed anyone. Lots. Of, I, I probably have. But anyway, look, Nicole. Hi Nicole. She's going to be around roomy next time. Hi. Um, yeah, just lots of people. Like I said, it was really good. Everybody got. It was a good mix. You felt like like at dinner time. You you felt happy to go and sit with anyone. It was that kind of way. It was. It was one big group. There was no kind of wee kind of cliques or anything like that. It felt like one big, we could, anybody could start with anyone. It was great. Um, so that was it. Get no, no stitch. I brought my shuttle and I brought some stuff. Didn't get a lot of stitching done, but lots of talking and lots of eyeing up everybody else's stuff, which was really nice. Um, as part, as we had been working up to it, we'd been doing challenges. And... I think it was myself, Adele, so I had Adele, um, and Michelle. I think we were the only people that completed all challenges. So for that, we got our choice of having an earth design. I was like, oh, cheers, thanks. Because I'd already been enabled. Lisa, Craft Lisa, who sat next to me and was working away on her enchanted Christmas reindeer ornament. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. I really like that. Oh, I think they went through that in a stocking. And that was that was straight on. I was like, oh yeah, they do. I really fancied making myself a stocking. Of two, both the kids got a stocking. I wanted to do myself one. Um, so when I found out when the the heaven and earth the with the challenge getting heaven and earth piece, I was like, oh well, that's simple. I know exactly what I want. So lo and behold, that was what I got. So that's my oh that doesn't really work, does it? Lots of glare. Oh, anyway, that's it. There isn't he an absolute. Gem, I really don't know how well it's going to show up, but it is for your information. It's stalking the enchanted Christmas reindeer artwork by Donna Gale Singer, Heaven and Earth Designs. And it's probably one of those ones I actually probably wouldn't have looked at, I would have probably went by it. Um, but because I was watching Lisa, I said, I'm like, well, that's really nice. I want that. Um, so that was that. Um, so Got back from Stitch and Treat on Sunday, met up my sister. Oh, I'd ate so much. I was in the film ground where we went and bought a really nice cake. I was like, oh, I just need to go home. Um, so that was the end of January. Uh, Donna has now organised. At the time, I was like, oh, a bit skin, you know, got a lot of expenses this year. Uh, I was like, just put me down for a day delegate. Let me find out what a day delegate is. And then she got back. She was like, oh, yep, uh, here's, you know, gave out the prices and everything. And where we were staying the West, we were wanting some ridiculous amount of money, so it was like, oh, no, nah, you're right, mate. Um, and she has rebooked us into another hotel just about 10 minutes up the road, and it was like a good third, not not quite half, but a good lot cheaper, so it was about 200 pounds or something. And then I'm going to share a room so it's for a day more, and I was like, oh, yep, just sign me up then, that's too good a deal to pass up. Um, so I'm back again in November there, so I've got that one to look forward to November, and then Alison Wells and Susie, um, have organised a Yorkshire retreat down Bradford. I'll be there. That's next March. Looking forward to that. Hopefully I'll get down again before then. Um, but if not, I'll definitely be down for that. So that's my next two retreats sorted. Anyway, enough talk of that. 
really going to February. What was I doing in February? Right. Or oh, and possibly slight change in plans. I think I was planning to just start lots of new starts. I was kind of carry on with the new starts every month on this year, obviously on the 18th month. And I just, I've got to the stage, I actually love all the whips I'm working on. And I'm like, okay, too many. Ran out of space in the cupboard. Need to just stop. Let's actually just get some work done. Just feel like I'm not going to achieve very much. So just carry on with my goals of getting a side of each chatelaine done every three months. Just more work on one of heaven and earth I've got so I can start some new ones um, and do a chunk of my cartographica and then just and the rest of the stuff. That's my kind of main goals for the year and the rest of the stuff will just be kind of as it comes. Too many new starts. I know I, I just, the only new starts I'll be doing will be for the full coverage fanatics um, through the year. There's a couple of those um, styles that I'm going to have a wee cheeky new start in. So, February. Now, so the February plans was on my list of February plans. So I'll just go through it because I'll see this way to do it because I'm doing the Winter Olympics um, style as well. So, first up, finish January window. Now this was my Chips Manor such a long that it started. So, da -da -da, I have more or less finished the January window. The only bits that are missing are, there's a couple of threads I need and I'm not putting an order in for like two threads just now. Um, the other one, sorry, I just need to drink a juice. I'm combing as much, by the way, drinking straight out of all. Um, so I was like, well, I'll just do what I can. And the next time I need to get um, some more threads, I need to get needles because I don't know, there's the Bermuda Triangle of needles in this. I don't, I don't know where they all are. It's like they disappear into the floor. Um, so yeah, I'll order some more threads. So that's January winter. I'm really, really liking this. Um, I normally wouldn't bother doing a style because it's like, oh, too much hard work to keep up, but these aren't too big. So that was number one on my plan. Number two was then to finish the February window. As you'll see, that hasn't happened. The number two is I am working on that today, as a matter of fact. I'll explain. That will come back up again in a minute. Um, finish January temperature garden. The temperature garden was one I started. So I have... I finished January. Da -da -da. In February. That's great. So. Look how cute that is. Um, so lots of shades of blue, starting to keep into, so cold, starting to get into mild, nothing before freezing, kind of roughly the same temperatures for us. Winter's kind of not very, very not exciting here, lots of grey. Um, and so I've still got all of February to do. So next on the list was finished February, temperature garden. I've done the outlines for it, haven't actually done any of that that's but I um, should in theory get that done right next on the list was for my 1200 stitches for a full coverage fanatic for the year by numbers I'm doing different ones each month I'm kind of trying to fit them in with their other styles so this was also I think it's the I'm sorry. Pause. Okay. But yeah, so February's monthly style was pink or flowers. So natural. Poppy panel. Flowers. So I did a bit on that. So I've done the 1200 stitches. That is required. Done 1268 to be exact. I don't really know why I've got, I think it's because I've just filled in a little bit. Um, so this has been stitched on 28 count magic guide or easy guide, whatever one is, and it's one over one. And I had originally started, I started it the very first few stitches on 10 stitch because normally that's my preferred method on 28 count. 
but I felt with the big blocks of colour, it was a bit bumpy. I don't know, it just didn't sit right. So I went to 1 over 1 and yeah, really liking that. Hershel seems lots of cream and then this lovely nice, I think it's 762, nice pale blue. Hopefully I'll get through that. So it, that's about halfway across, I think. I think it'll come to about here. So I'm just going to work right across the top. But that'll go away. So that needs to come back out for an Elsa. Or I'll do a bit more work on it at some point. Um, so that was completed. Um, the other one that is still ongoing is the winter stitch along. So I was aiming to do a thousand, do a thousand stitches on that for this month because it's running from like December to March. I think it's like the middle of December to the middle of March. Um, so this is my, sorry, I'll just turn this. Heaven Earth Designs Story Keep Labyrinthine. That's how you pronounce it. Winter. Stephanie Law. Um, so, a, a row is, well, be truthful, a row is 999. For some bizarre reason, the way it's just, it, well, it's just the way it's worked out. This last one here, it's just nine across. Create confusion. Um, so, yeah, that's coming around. So that is 28 count, two over one. Ten stitch. So I've just got this little bit here to fill in and that's my thousand stitches for this month. Then I was also going to work on my Chatelaine and my Cartograph graph, both of which I've done because then we jump to the Winter Olympic Stitch Along. I'm sure you know about that stitch on Stitch Mania. Um, during the Olympics, having something related to it each day. So, I chose to do right. So the opening ceremony, new or new start, I used my poppy panel. I'm not sure, it, most of these I've done. Used my poppy panel, that was a new start. Uh, very bit of tent, winter themed piece. Used my story keep winter. Um, now, 11th of February, pause. For the 11th of February, it was a cream themed, so I used flag colours, the red, blue, white or black. I don't have any blue in this, but a red colour, so let me just where we at. So I worked a little bit more on my Coffee Quaker, Diet Coke Quaker. And you filled in these ones up here and carried on down there. So again... This was a new start last year and I'll just work on it. I quite like, it's quite handy for just working on for these kind of things. It's not that's as much love as it'll get this year. February 12th, mascot animal. And I finished my little snow flower. I'll get this right. Snow flower, the snow flower diaries. Joyful world. This is August. Because look, it's a little dog. It's a little sheep dog. Collie, that's what they are, black collie. And ironically, on that day, yeah, that was a Monday, I think. I had sat and watched a sheep dog at work. Because on the way to work that day, for some reason, somebody had decided it was a good idea to put some roadworks in just outside the hospital entrance that we go into. Not realising that only letting through about five cars at a time would cause gridlock throughout the whole of South Asia. It just, it took me an hour. I live a mile and a half away from my work. It took me an hour. <laughs> I could have just abandoned my car somewhere up there and walked, but I was like, yeah, well, everybody's late. They know I'm late. I might as well just sit in my car and listen to the radio and look out the window. And at one point, like, I'm coming up by the fields and it was getting quite fascinating because they got the farmer come out. It's not like I live in the country, it's just like, like literally just outside here. The farmer came out with his dog and I was getting a live rendition of one man and his dog. It was quite fascinating. I've never actually seen them as we dog paired and all the sheep in. And then that night I came home and I was working on the sheep dog. Anyway, random nonsense. Um, 
speed skating, the timepiece I didn't complete. Um, I'll explain in a minute. And so February the 14th was medals, metallic or beads, my Chatelaine. So obviously I had to be doing it. Um, so I worked a little bit on oh, this bit here that's got some metals. This is the bit here. And my needle minder is from Lisa Simmons. And it's my Glasgow Scottish Stitching Retreat. So I did a little bit more on that. Halloween themed. This was a bit of a stretch. I worked on a piece that is in here. <laughs> okay, I pulled out everything out. Anyway, just take my word for it. Okay. Yep. Bewitched Park. That's, I, do, I have no Halloween themes. It's not a big thing here. We don't really do Halloween. I mean, kids get dressed up in that, but it's not a holiday as such. Um, so that was the best I could come up with was my Bewitched Park. So I did a little bit on that. Um, the next night was supposed to be biathlon, two pieces. I worked again on my Bewitched Park and then I worked on my Chatelaine. And then I took out everything. I, I'd worked on my Chatelaine because I was one stitch out. And it was like, okay, I can't actually fudge this. I can't, it's like, I, this actually is totally wrong. It's like, I need to redo all this bit. So therefore, I couldn't show, I didn't bother putting it up in anything because everything I'd stitched on on the second piece all came back. Great. Um, figure skating speciality, back to the Chatelaine. February 18th was Heaven and Earth and Humanity. What more need, what need to say? Heaven and Earth. I worked a little bit on da, 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 my captive. I think I'll manage a little bit more around here. This was a little bit here. And I'll just show you this. Check out my fancy new needle miner from Catherine at Needle Keep Emporium. I'm making that. And that was that. Right. So that was done. 15 starts, 15 minutes of stitches. Oh, I used my captive. I worked on 15 different colours. Smart thinking. Um, Olympic Village House or Building. Back to my Chatelaine. I think I actually did do that. Yep. Um, maybe the 21st, 79 Nations. It's got to be. It's got to be. What, what, why do I know how to do I swear to God. Oh. Honestly, I thought it was organised. It's sitting there, I just couldn't see in front of me. 79 Nations. So it was to be related to 79, but I just decided to go for the 79 Nations. Because there must be 79 nations in the world. On a big world map. Da -da -da. So, out came my cartographer. Now, I believe at some point I was going to work down in little kind of steps and then I've decided I'm going to aim just to get the big huge ginormous compass thing which is a bazillion different colours as you'll see from all of them, <laughs> the threads there um, <laughs> it's the most confetti heavy thing I've ever done in my life I'm going to get that done and kind of just and that's my aim to get that done this year so I worked on that the next night the next night day was 22nd of February again uh, which international travel theme International, Lutz Nations, big map. Next day was February the 23rd, Pyeongchang, PRC, C, Cartographica. Boom! Uh, so I got, you know, I did a good three days on that. Um, I should there. And then, oh, right, yeah, so 24th February, which was yesterday, it was new events, new designer or material. New designer to me this year has been Ships Manor. Da, da, da. A little bit, I did, I worked on the kind of board and started in the middle. February 25th, two day. Closing ceremony, near to finish. I've got nothing that's near to finish. I've perfectly nothing nothing's near to finish, but I decided that this could be a finish. We're about to pass four. Nah, it's probably not going to happen, but it's going to be as close as a finish as possible. So that's that. There were two days I didn't, there was a couple of days I missed out because I was out, but... To give me my juice, I was in an ice rink. My daughter has 
decided in the ripe old age of 17 and a half to take up figure skating again. It's about the third time she's left the club and come back. Uh, so I was watching my daughter figure skating. It was curling on in one ice rink, figure skating on in another rink. I was participating. I was involved with Winter Olympic sports. So that was my excuse to start ending any stitching done because on those nights, by the time I come in from work and go back out and go, and it's just chilly. No, I'm tired. So that is the Winter Olympic stitch on. That's February. We're now on February the 25th. Um, so my plan for the rest of the day and for the rest of February is clean up all this mess that I've just made um, and finish off. I'm going to try and finish off this window today, or do as much as I can. Do some of my temperature garden. Do finish off a thousand stitches or a few stitches left the story keep winter and that and then any other time left I'll work on my chatelaine and that's it and I haven't have I written down my March plans March plans finish chatelaine side um oh 18 yeah what I thought I'd do instead of the new starts I actually thought is, is do the anniversary pieces do the bits I started last year so on this 18th I started on 17th of March last year with my maidens, uh, Mirabilia maidens autumn, maidens of the season autumn. Put my teeth in and actually speak. So that's that. Um. Yeah. So I'm now sitting and the and also I'm sitting on my nice. I'm just so excited. I'm sitting on my nice new comfy sofa. Very excited. We've been needing a new sofa for quite a while, and it was one of those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll get around to it. And it was like, no, okay, it's actually going to point. This is so uncomfortable to sit on. So I got my nice new sofa, which came, and it, I'd measured it and everything like that, and it was like, yeah, it's a bit shorter and everything like that. It's fucking ginormous. It's just, I mean, it just, I was back in the shop today because I was in order in the chair. I was like, no, it looks tiny in here. It looks really small compared to all their other sofas, but in my living room, which is quite small. It looks ginormous. So I'm now reordering. I have a recliner. I was going to just keep and now it's going to get bent because I need a shiny new recliner and it was half price it was 60% off <laughs> that's going to be my new stitchery chair so I'm proper excited about that um, otherwise it's all very dull um, I'm off tomorrow and Tuesday I'm using up all my holidays I need to use them all by the end of March so I've got a couple of days off tomorrow and then another couple of days off the week after that great um and yeah, that's it really, it's not very exciting. Life's just kind of plodding on. Um, so I'm going to shut up now because I'm at 27 minutes. And that's me. Well anyway, I hope you've stuck around to watch this. This is a bit of a, oh yep, that's it. And I shall see you again in a few weeks time. The only thing, I um, haven't bought any haul, like I say, stitch and stash, I am on it. I am so on it. I'm like, no, I'm not buying anything else. I've added lots of different things to my Pinterest board. Keep adding them to that. I'm like, right, just keep adding it. You see some people, ooh, ooh. Add it to my wish list. Add it to that. Next year, <laughs> I'm like, I really, if I can get some of this stuff done, the whips are starting to get out of control. <laughs> so, try and get something done. But I haven't bought any new stuff. Perfectly nice new shiny. This is my footstool. Like a footstool and everything. It's lovely. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So, cheery bye. Enough. And thank you for watching. Thanks if you've stuck with me through this. Oh, and thanks. Oh, and also hi and thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, hi to Cowgirl Kate. Give me a little shout out about my Chatelaine. Thank you. Um, so I've got some new subscribers. Uh, I hope you've stuck. Cheers. Um, bye for now.